Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be going over some advanced building tricks in Fortnite. Most of these revolve around turtling and close-range box fights, but they're definitely applicable in some other potential situations as well. I consider them to be advanced tips because they're kinda situational in nature, but none of them really require any kinda crazy mechanical skill or anything, so even if you're an average player, you should be able to handle all of them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first tip I want to show you guys in this video is a powerful play you can make against a good player turtled up in a 1x1. A tendency that most really good players have is when they're trapped inside of a box with an enemy on the outside, they're going to be constantly looking for an opportunity to go on the offensive. They know they can't just sit there and keep turbo building walls over and over again all day. So the second you stop applying pressure, whether that be to reload or just to take a second to think about your next move, they're going to edit the wall that you're trying to take and hit you with a high damage shotgun shot. That's definitely a great strategy, but if you're smart, you can actually use that aggressiveness against them. What you want to do is kind of play possum by pulling out your building menu, placing a ramp over your head, and then just staring at the wall kind of like you're contemplating your next move. For any half-decent enemy, this is going to look like the absolute easiest kill in the world. However, what the enemy doesn't know is that the entire time you have your building menu in your hand, you're holding down LT slash L2 to turbo build a ramp. What this does is as soon as the enemy inside the 1x1 does any kind of edit on the wall in front of you, you're going to instantly turbo build a ramp in front of their face inside of the box. Your opponent is going to have no clue what happened, and from there you can easily break and replace the wall, or what I prefer to do, edit the staircase you place through whatever window slash corner edit your opponent made, and then shoot them with your shotgun. Some parts of that may have sounded a little bit confusing, so here's a clip of me doing it in creative mode that showcases it really well. The next tip in this video is a super cool offensive trick popularized by Benji Fish for when you're turtling inside of your own 1x1. This trick takes advantage of one of the most interesting mechanics in all of Fortnite, which is the fact that if any part of your body is phasing through a building piece, it becomes slightly transparent and then enables you to shoot through it. So let me start this off by showing you guys a clip of Benji himself using it against another pro Fortnite player. It probably isn't the best example you'll find, but I want to showcase that if it works against another pro, it can definitely work against pretty much anyone you'll run into. Nice! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, so here's basically a breakdown of what happened there, why it works, and when you want to use it. So what you saw there was a situation where Benji was turtled into a pretty typical 1x1 one -one box, with an opponent on the outside who's likely going to try to break and replace his wall. In that specific clip, Benji still had ownership of that front wall, but this also works if the enemy has already taken it. So what you want to do first is back up all the way to the back wall in your box and then place down a ramp in front of you. When your enemy sees that, he'll just assume that you're adding an extra line of defense in case he takes your wall, so it won't seem suspicious at all. Then you're going to do any kind of edit to that ramp and then reset it immediately after. I would personally recommend either cutting it in half and then resetting it like Benji did in that video, or you can also flip the ramp in the opposite direction first and then flip it again to the direction that it was originally facing, and I think I actually prefer that technique over the one you saw in the clip of Benji because it gives you protection the entire time. 
Once you do either of those methods, only your feet will be phasing through the bottom of the ramp, but that'll be enough for it to register as transparent and allow you to shoot through it. Let me show you a quick clip of me doing this, and I'll also throw in a clip of what it's going to look like from the enemy's point of view as well. So like I mentioned earlier, this trick works if you own the wall in front of your box, and it also works if the enemy took that wall. In the situation where you still have ownership, as soon as you reset your edit and the ramp becomes transparent, you want to quickly edit the wall in front of you and hit your enemy with high damage shotgun shots. And that's exactly what you saw Benji do in that first clip. But if the enemy takes your wall, you want to quickly edit and reset the edit so the ramp is transparent, and then you want to wait for that enemy to make any kind of an offensive play. They may edit the wall themselves, which gives you the opportunity to hit some nice shots since they're not going to think you can shoot behind the ramp, or since they assume that you're just going to hide behind the ramp, they'll probably just rush right into your box like a maniac. And if they do that, they'll definitely be pretty surprised when you blast them with a shotgun, even though it looks like your entire body is behind the ramp. Moving on, I want to show you guys a simple method to get inside your enemies one by one from the top part of it. This method itself is very simple, but be warned that you should really only do this in situations where your enemy is very weak, because just jumping inside of someone's one by one is always a really risky play to make. And also, just like pretty much every phasing slash wall replace method out there, it probably won't work on the first try if you don't have a significant ping advantage over the enemy turbo building. So watch this clip of the method in action, I'll explain it after, and also keep in mind that the enemy inside the box turbo building here has single digit ping the majority of the time. So it's really as simple as this. You first want to replace the enemy's cone on the top of the box, or if they don't have one down, just place your own. And for whatever reason, replacing a cone is way easier than replacing a wall, so even if you have bad ping, that part shouldn't be a problem. Then you want to edit the cone and cut it in half so it's basically like a sideways ramp. Then, as you saw in the clip, you want to crouch and put your body against the ramp, then pickaxe the floor once so it's one pickaxe away from being destroyed. Then, as soon as you swing your pickaxe again to destroy the floor, you want to also spam the jump button at the same time. What this does is it basically glitches the hitbox of the ramp since you can't really jump in that position, and gives you a slight boost downwards, making you more likely to phase through the floor. And finally, we have the most simple tip of this video, which is a small defensive trick for when someone takes your front wall in a one by one. What most people will do in that situation when they lose their wall is turbo build ramps in front of them and then try to edit out of the back of the structure to escape as soon as the enemy goes to reload. The problem is, in the time that it takes you to turn around to the back of your box and then edit out, your enemy will likely already be reloaded and will hit some shots as you're escaping. A really simple solution to this is as soon as you turn around and you're facing the back of your box, if you look towards the ground, it'll allow you to place a ramp behind your back to protect you. It's a bit hard to showcase since you're doing something you can't really see in your own line of vision, but here's a clip of me taking it a step further and literally turbo building to protect myself while not even facing my enemy, and then instantly editing out as soon as I hear him go to reload.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. Which tip from this video did you find most helpful or didn't already know? And if you knew all of them, then you're a beast, then let me know that as well. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.